Hey guys, David at Cosmic here. Today we're going over installation video for our Subaru wideband logging kit. If you order one, this is what you will receive. It's the full kit, everything you need, 100% plug and play. A little bit of taken out of the packaging here. You got your Bosch 4.9 fast response O2 sensor, plenty of zip ties for mounting and clean installation, stainless steel O2 bung if you do not already have one ready to go. And then obviously we have the controller fully plug and play. We're gonna come over here to the car. Got a 13 STI up on the rack. This is going to plug and play into the rear O2 harness right here. You can see this one has a Cobb Flex fuel kit. We're simply gonna unplug the rear O2 right here and plug our plug and play wideband controller in. Um, we'll come back to that here in a minute where we'll show you one that's been installed and finished. You have two and or possibly three options with installing the wideband sensor itself. You can go into the rear O2 right there, which you can take, just remove the whole sensor assembly if you have a catless downpipe. If you have a catted downpipe, the sensor does need to go before any catalytic converters. So um, the NVIDIA and Cobb guys, if you bought one that has a extra O2 bung up top or the Cobb comes standard, which is our preferred downpipe. You simply install the sensor up there, run your wiring harness down the side of the trans over here to the controller. Uh, very easy, very plug and play. So we're gonna go over the installation and mounting of the controller next. All right guys, you can see we got the factory Rio 2 sensor out. Uh, the kit does come with a stainless wideband bung. Your downpipe does not have a provision before the cat so that you guys can very quickly and easily have somebody weld a bung in the correct position for you. Again, just pre any catalytic converters. Uh, so we took the Rio 2 out here, coming over to the car. See, we installed the Bosch 4.9. It's not all the way tightened in. There's our new Bosch wideband sensor. Wires routed over factory similar location. We've unplugged the Rio 2, plugged in our plug and play module here, which got a little bundle of joy right now. You got uh, plenty of wire, again, so you can run up to the turbo if your O2 sensor is right behind the downpipe. Um, this kit also can plug in above the transmission on the factory Rio 2 harness that runs down. The connector's the same. So the guys who are running like a fog light turbo mount kit, something like that you can plug in up there and then run your wiring over to your fog light mount turbo for the guys who are a little bit more race car um, we can include all the zip ties you need we just simply secure onto the factory harness it's a little wobbly right now because we only have one zip tie in there um, use as many as you need to secure it make sure that your wiring that runs back here is secure in the factory brackets you can use the zip ties provided um, follow it just like the Rio 2 you want to make sure that that wire is not coming into any contact with the shifter linkage or the drive shaft um, from here that pretty much I mean that that's as easy as the install is it takes about 45 seconds once you're up on the lift um, or a minute longer if you're working on your back uh, from here we'll move over to the access port side of things Our preferred installation location is going to be a O2 bung right here after the turbo. Again, if you don't have one, a bung's included. If you have the downpipe already off, take it over to somebody, have one you know, welded on there for you. All the Cobb downpipes are going to come with that standard, and most of your NVIDIAs these days are ordered with that extra O2 bung. Um, again, if you're uh, catless, just anywhere in the downpipe will work. If you're catted, it has to be before the cat. Going into a little more detail, if you look down here, harness over there on top of the transmission. There'll be another Rio 2 plug up there. It's the same exact plug as it is down below. If you need to, you can plug in the controller up here, route your wiring over here to your fog light mount turbo. If you are running an exhaust out the side, out the hood, etc., etc., and you need a little bit more length, the harness is pretty long. Um, Next, we'll go over to our access port and show you guys the logging side. All right, guys, coming over to our access port here. You will have to have your tuner do a revision for your Rio 2 logging. Um, the sensor calibration is going to be half a volt for 8.5 8 gasoline AFR, 
or four and a half volts for an 18.0 gasoline AFR. Um, from there, once they get that revision put in there for you, you'll be able to come over to your access port here and you'll be able to look up sensor only rear O2 and when the car is running and active, uh, it takes about 15 to 30 seconds for the sensor to come online and you'll be able to see your wideband air fuel ratio right there. Uh, make sure to add it to your data logging list. For the guys doing any kind of remote tunes or tune checkups or anything like that, your tuner will now be able to have full range gasoline AFR from eight and a half all the way to 18 uh, for more accurate tuning, better track support, etc., etc.